<laughs> Hello, everyone. This transport requires that one has to be Hello everyone, it's Cinderman 103 coming to you with Germany's third turn in our ongoing E40 game. Me playing as the Axis and General Fun playing as the Allies. It has been a very fun game so far, um, but we're here to take Germany's third turn. Thought about it long and hard, and we're going to do a few moves. We're not going to be that aggressive this turn. Uh, I know some people probably figured we were going to be super, super aggressive. We're not this turn. Um, but we'll get to the purchases here. So we have 62 bucks. We're spending it all. We're buying two infantry, three mechs, two submarines, a heavy tank, a fighter, and a minor factory. All right. So we have three combat moves this turn. So the first one's going to be down here in 81, season 81. Um, we're sending a bunch of planes from southern Italy. So we're sending three tactical bombers, the fighter, and one of the two strategic bombers. They're going to go one, two, three, and four. And they'll be able to land there in Sudan with the air base. They'll all be able to move five. Uh, strategic bombers can move six, but there's nowhere else they could really safely land. So again, going in there, a fighter three tactical bombers and a strategic bomber. All right, and then up here in Britain, see if I can get a better angle here. Um, in season 110, we're gonna send one fighter and one tactical from Germany. They're gonna go one, two, and one, two. And then the submarine from season 108 is gonna go one, two. Support that attack as well. And then we're going to do an amphibious landing in Scotland. So we're going to bring these six transports. We're going to pick up six tanks from Denmark. And six infantry from Western Germany. And move one and two, no, one, two, three, like so. So from the naval base, they're moving one, two, three, and along with them, bring in two cruisers, two destroyers, and a submarine. And so we'll be taking Scotland. Let's go ahead and adjust the economy here. So Germany would go up, Germany goes up to 44, and Britain goes down to 29. Um, and I think that's everything for our combat moves. So, here on the battle board, oh, hang on, I forgot my cup. I'll be right back. Actually, never mind, I found, I just bought this can that I'll use. This little can that I bought with a Yeti can holder thing, so I'll just use that. Um, so the first attack, we're doing the attack for season 110. We've got a sub, a fighter, a tactical bomber, and he has a cruiser defending at three. So, get right to it. So we've got a submarine, a fighter, a tactical bomber, empty cup. This is going to be a little louder. And we got two hits, more than we needed. And he's defending with his cruiser. And he hit as well. So, we're going to go ahead and lose our submarine. And we'll be surviving in Season 110 with a fighter and a tactical bomber. And then we'll do the Season Battle for Season 81 here. So we have... Just set all this stuff up right next to it. So we've got a fighter and two tacticals attacking at three, and a tactical and strategic bomber at four, and he has two destroyers defending at two. So, fighter, two tacticals at three, and a strategic and tactical at four, empty cup. And 
looks like we got three hits there, which is good. And now his two destroyers will defend it too. Empty cup. And he got one hit, and I was expecting him to get one, at least one hit on that one. So we'll, we will go ahead and lose um, one of our tactical bombers there. And we'll get back to the board for non-combat movements. All right, so first we'll go ahead and land these planes that were in C-Zone 81. Um, all of them, two tacticals, one fighter, one strategic bomber. All of them will just land in Anglo Egypt, Sudan there. And then we'll land those two planes in C-Zone 110. They came 1-2 from Western Germany, and they will just go 1-2 back to Western Germany. The fighter that did not move from Western Germany is going to go 1-2 and land in Yugoslavia along with an artillery, or not an artillery, a mechanized infantry and an artillery from Slovakia, Hungary, are going to go into Yugoslavia. Um, the submarine from C-Zone 118 is going to go into 119. And that'll be another convoy. So we have a convoy here in 109 and in 119. Um, for Oh, actually, no, 119 is not a convoy anymore because I took Scotland and that doesn't touch Britain. So the C sub from 118 is going to go into 109 then. So we'll have a convoy there for Britain in 109 when it gets to Britain's turn, if that's not dealt with. Um, and then the bomber from southern Italy is going to go 1 and 2 and in western Germany. Four mechs from Denmark are going to go one, two, and stop in Holland, Belgium. And then two of the infantry from Norway are going to move back to Finland. And I believe that's everything. So we'll go ahead and place our units. Get up here. Better angle. So, in Germany, plain old Germany, we have a heavy tank going down, along with three mechanized infantry. In Western Germany, we have a fighter being built. And in Normandy, Bordeaux, we're going to be placing two infantry. Uh, in Western Germany, C-Zone 112, we're going to place our two submarines. And that minor factory is going to be going in Yugoslavia. Alright, we'll get to the economy and then we'll do a recap. Alright, so over here in the economy, Germany went up to 44 and Britain's gone down to 29 from 31. So, with our base of 44, um, we're collecting an additional 5 this should be a 10, not a 20. We're collecting an additional 5 from uh, not being at war with Sweden and an additional 5 from not being at war with Russia. So 54 will be our grand total, not 64. And we'll get to recap here. So in Scotland, we have 6 infantry and 6 tanks. Season 109, we have 2 destroyers, 2 submarines, two cruisers, six transports. In Season 112, we have two subs. Norway has three infantry. Finland has four infantry. Denmark has two infantry. France has three infantry. Normandy Bordeaux has four infantry, one artillery. Uh, Holland and Belgium has four mechs. Western Germany has three infantry, three anti-air guns, three artillery, two fighters, tactical bomber, and a strategic bomber. Germany has six infantry, three mechs, one heavy tank, and three anti-air guns. Poland has two infantry, three artillery. Slovakia, Hungary has three infantry, three tanks, one heavy tank. Yugoslavia has four infantry, one mech, one artillery, one fighter, and a newly built minor factory. And Anglo Egypt, Sudan has one infantry, two tactical bombers, and one strategic bomber. 
All right, and with that, I hand it back to General Fund, who's going to be taking Rush's turn. And this is their last turn of neutrality um, by the rules. Now, they don't have to declare war on me next turn, but they have no reason not to. So things are going to heat up on the Eastern Front here pretty quickly. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, hopefully Germany has been preparing appropriately, but we shall see. We shall see. The Russians have been building lots and lots and lots and lots of tanks. Lots and lots of tanks. All right, thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. This is Interman 103. Same peace out.